Good morning. Welcome to Serve Sunday. I'm here with my son, Cade. And Cade, it's Serve Sunday. What's what's your favorite part about Serve Sunday? To serve. He's very literal. Thank you for that. Hey, if you've been following us on uh, Facebook or Instagram, you have probably seen that we've been talking about this all week. And so Serve Sunday is a special day for our church when we kind of cancel service so that we can serve our community. But as we all know, this year, a lot of things have changed, including Serve Sunday. And so in the past, we have um, helped serve at a local 5K race, but that's just not possible right now. And so this year, we have an opportunity to let God tell us how he would have us serve uh our neighbors. And so again, if you need any ideas on how to do that, uh, our communications team has been posting ideas on our social media page uh, all week. And so check those out. But before I officially send you out to serve your community in Jesus' name, let me leave you with a couple of thoughts. And so you have probably heard me talk about in the past that God has given us a mission. Have you heard me say that before, Cade? Kind of, yeah. Okay. And so sometimes we call this the Great Commission. And so it is when Jesus commands us to go into all the world and tell people about him. And there's many ways to do that. But one of the ways that we can do that is through serving others. Right, Cade? Yep. He's he's a lot of help. Um, but... In Genesis 12, God tells Abraham, the father of our faith, that one day he's going to have a descendant who will save the world. And now we know, looking back, that that Savior is Jesus. And so Jesus is described this way. In Genesis 12, 3, it says that this descendant, that Jesus, that through him all nations of the earth will be blessed. Now that is specifically talking about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, that thing that saved us, that anyone from any nation can receive forgiveness and have new life through faith in Jesus Christ. That being said, it's also describing a daily mission that we as followers of Jesus have. And so as followers of Jesus, the people around us, the nations should be blessed. Our church should bless our community. Right, Cade? Mm -hmm. Again, he's a lot of help. And I believe that Serve Sunday is not just a re- it's not just us skipping church, but it is an opportunity for us to be the church. And so this Serve Sunday, go serve your community in the name of Jesus and be a blessing. God has given you talents and time and resources and even put you into specific communities. Because did you know that your neighbors, your classmates, your co-workers, your friends, your family members, that all of those people in your life, that's not a coincidence. God put them there for a reason. And one of those reasons is so that you could tell them about Jesus. So go serve them and bless them in Jesus's name and use what God has given you to do that. And so as you head out the door, I am going to give you three things to think about. First off, Cade, read number one for me. How can I show people the love of Jesus today? Okay, so the first thing we're going to think about is how can I show people the love of Jesus today? Second thing I want you guys to think about is this. Pray for opportunities to talk about Jesus during Serve Sunday. Okay, so pray for opportunities as you're leaving, as you're thinking about, as you're heading to serve somebody. Pray for opportunities to talk about Jesus during this Serve Sunday. You will be surprised what God can do when we're ready and willing. And then finally, Cade, read the last one. Serve with all your heart. Serve with all your heart. This Serve Sunday, what we're doing, this is worship. And so as you sacrifice to bless others, say in your heart, this is for you, Jesus. I'm doing this because I love you and I want to honor you. And so with that said, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this day. Show us how we can serve someone today. And we pray that you would give us an opportunity to talk about Jesus. Maybe it's just publicly saying the name of Jesus. Maybe it's inviting someone to a life group or to church online. And maybe we get the chance to help somebody follow Jesus for the very first time by putting their faith in him. That's up to you, Lord. We just want to be ready. 
And so, Lord, help us to do that. And finally, Lord, help us to honor and worship you today. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.